Well, hi, it's Sunday morning and uh, I'm a little nervous today. My wife is gonna take the dog for a little while to go to the dog beach and it's the first time I've been without the dog or it's the first time she's had the dog since she's broken up with me. And while I trust that she will bring her back as she's promised, there's still a little part of me that's nervous. And I talked to somebody yesterday who was like, Ken, you are being a fool if you're letting her see the dog. It's becoming a bargaining chip. And I'm pretty sure that person isn't right, but it does plant that seed of doubt in your head to think, oh God, what if, what if she takes the dog? I'm nervous. I had stress dreams last night. I felt pretty good last night. I, I felt okay-ish by myself. I don't like it. I mean, I, I miss company. I miss a person, but I wasn't suffering that bad last night. This morning I'm low. That's super low, but I'm, I'm gonna go to bar method and God, I hope I can, I hope I can get through this class. I think I should be able to, but you know, my, my heart is still heavy. I asked, I asked my wife to, to fill out more formal language saying that the dog is mine and, and she said, there's no magic wording or something like that to say that I can have a dog. I can have her dog. But when I look around online, there is language, there's legal documents that you can fill out that say, I such and such transfer ownership to somebody else. So I'm gonna print one of those out today because I feel like that much more clearly shows intent. It's Sunday morning at 7.20 and the garbage truck is blowing their horns out in front of my building. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Bar Method. I'll see you in a bit. I do have these nerves and this sense of dread. Maybe I'm putting too much ahead of it. Maybe it's not that big a deal. She's gonna pick up the dog, go to the beach, and come back. That's my hope. I'm nervous though. You know, because it's ownership, because it's possession, because she could rightly just take the dog. I feel for people more now that they go through divorces that have children. I'm concerned about a dog. And I love the dog, but she's a dog. People who have children who, who are their offspring, who they love, and they have a spouse that takes the kids or won't let them see them or tries to make them think different, you know, to change their opinion of the other parent. Like, God, that's gotta be just the worst thing ever. Yeah, this process has been interesting and just sort of revealing on a more emotional level how how cruel the world can be. And I'm not saying she's being cruel on that level, just taking my particular scenario and telegraphing it out to what it could feel like. It's brutal. And maybe that's bad for me. Maybe that's part of my, my stress and anxiety is, is that I'm imagining how much worse it could be and I should just stop but it's what I it's that's what my mind does it, it just thinks about all the possibilities that seems to have gone well I like the instructor class is pretty easy somebody took my usual spot so I had to be on a mirrored wall which meant I had to look at my face the whole time man I thought about her a lot during class I thought about the open house I thought about him I thought about them together I don't know why my mind goes there for some reason during bar method my brain just travels that's bad. I need to figure out how to not do that. Well, I'm not happy. I've just gone and left the dog with a nearby friend. Right down there. And now I have to trust that my wife will be careful with her and take care of her and most importantly, Bring her back. And everyone says to trust her, but I still don't. She's she's hurt me on so many levels. This could just be another one, and I'm really scared. So please keep your fingers crossed right now, because I'm not in a good way. Okay, I'm leaving the house. I just need to go out. I'm gonna I'm going to a barn party today, and I think I'm gonna pick up some ceviche for that. I think that could be fun and summary. I'm just trying to push all those negative thoughts out of my head. The, the the big one I've got going on right now is, is she at the beach with the dog and him? Is this a test run to see if he likes the dog? If he'd want to have the dog in their new life? And maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. You know, I don't, I guess he's met the dog before, but is this just more of a trial run to see if the dog will fit in their new life? It's freaking me out. That's what I'm thinking about. So that's what I do when I'm freaked out about the dog, I guess, huh? So I've become really influenced by the YouTube videos I'm watching. I was watching a bunch of cooking stuff this morning and the woman was trying to make gourmet, well, she was trying to make gourmet Kit Kats and gourmet Skittles, and then she was trying to make gourmet Lucky Charms. And I was like, I haven't had Lucky Charms in forever. So I bought some, so I'm gonna have some. That's me trying to make happy moments today. I am really stressed about the dog being gone and Hopefully she should be back in a half hour. 
Hopefully. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm gonna have some lucky charms. <laughs> Why not? I should probably do some kind of B-roll thing, but uh, <laughs> that's the best I got. She's such a chick. I knew she'd come down with him, but here's how I knew. When she texted this morning, she was texting pretty rapidly. Uh, I just vacuumed. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see, but I literally just vacuumed five minutes before she got home. Anyway, she texted as she was driving. I'm almost there. Like I'm almost into the city if you want to drop money off earlier. And I was like, she's texting way too fast to be driving. Right, because he was driving. I knew it, I did, I knew it. And then when she returned the dog, I think she was trying to just manipulate the situation. So I got outside early and she texted, uh, I'm here. And I said, where, I'm outside. And uh, then she came walking up the street from, from like a block down. And I was like, that's peculiar. So as I walked to meet her and I looked down the street, I could see his car and I could see him in the car. And it just, it makes me feel sick. So the two of them, probably hand in hand, were walking on the fucking dog beach with my dog, pretending to be a couple with my dog. And it's just, yeah, it turns my stomach. It makes me feel sick. It's all bullshit. And I do more than ever feel like it was a test run to see, like, do we want this dog? Gross. I'm just, I'm so appalled. <sighs> I'll get over it. She just sucks. She really sucks. That's it. Well, hey, I've come up to a fantastic barn party at somebody's house. It's such a nice group of people. They're actually, you know what? It's a lot of the same people that were in the first video I ever made when I went to the first barn party. Now I'm just at somebody else's house and they are such nice people. And I'm <laughs> so grateful for how welcoming, welcoming they are and how far I've come since the first video I've made. This is sort of reminding me. <laughs> Day one of these videos was pretty damn bad. Today, also pretty damn bad, but not nearly as pretty damn bad as that first one, so. I guess I'm grateful for that. So here's an interesting problem. We were taking group pictures and then we were flying the drone around and it was fun. And then I crashed in the golf course at <laughs> the Grand Del Mar. Yeah. Light is quickly, quickly fading and I don't know if I'll be able to get on the golf course. I can't imagine they'll let me on, but uh, stupid me. I'm gonna go try and find it now and see if I can get on the golf course. you can't see is right in the middle of the screen is my crash drone just flashing on the fairway. <laughs> Damn it. Well. Yeah, it's down there. I can see it from here, but I can't get it. Ugh.